Go ahead. All right. So the next topic is how to properly prepare artwork for display at an exhibition. So the main thing we wanted to talk about was how to properly wire a painting because we have seen things that are amazing. Strings with thumbtacks is one of them. Um, we've seen, um, I'm not gonna mention any names. We've, no. seen, we've seen wire that was so thin, we went to hang it and the wire cool. snapped in the middle. So, so we just wanted to talk a little bit about the proper way to, to prepare the artwork. Um, so in terms of, of framing, obviously, if you have a piece of artwork and you get it framed professionally, you could go somewhere local, which is you could go to the Artist Framer in Cranford is local. You could go to Evelyn Dunn Gallery in Westfield is local. They'll, if they're professionally framing it, they know how to wire. So it'll be perfect for, for, for hanging. Um, and the reason it's important, I'm gonna show you, um, you all probably know this, but this is, uh, this is something from the Walker system. So this is how artwork is hung in the library and a lot of other places. So this hangs on the top of the downstairs, those, those dividers in the cafe area. And then these type of things slide and the artwork generally hangs on top of, the, um, on top of this metal panel. So these, these particular have clips. These are for hanging something that you could clip on. The ones that hang artwork are actually downstairs being used right now for a show, Linnea's show. Um, but the Walker system also allows these wider uh, things. When a, when a wire goes on there, they'll, they're much more likely to stay level as opposed to like a nail in a wall. Um, okay, so the, the other thing, uh, so that's most places have what's called the Walker system and the Walker system does not allow things like, and I brought an example, if you go to Michael's or you go somewhere and buy a frame, a lot of times you'll see these little uh, clips. Yeah, not acceptable. Which is, which is okay if you're hanging something in your bathroom and you have a little nail or a hook, or whatever, but for the walker system, you, you know, this is not gonna fit. There's no way to hook this on top. Um, and it also, it's more dangerous, it could fall. There's a whole bunch of ways it could get knocked off. So even if you buy one of these, you can still do the wiring, which I did on this particular one. Um, it's, a, it's a horizontal, so I had to do it horizontal, but you can still do the, do the wiring and ignore these. You can either take them off or leave them on, it doesn't matter, it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. So, what's that? Sawtooth, right, yeah, the sawtooth hangers, which they sell everywhere, but they're terrible for yeah. hanging professionally um, and we we may not be super well-paid artists but we're professional when we're we professional. hang our work um, so when you do uh, prepare when you do put on a wire on a piece even if you bought this is a frame I bought at you know Michael's or wherever I bought Jerry's or something um, the main thing is when you have you're hanging the wire, it's a third of the way down. That's the key measure. So if you're hanging it vertically, it would be a third of this distance. So, you know, if it's a 20 inch uh, dimension, you would be roughly six and a half, seven inches. You would go down. Um, so you, you want it to add a third and you want it to hang, it should be about two inches when you wire it from the top because you want it to hang and not have the wire showing from the top. So there's a bunch of ways, and I brought a little example. There's a bunch of ways of, of actually wiring. These I bought on, on Amazon. They were like $8. This is 200 And these things, I'll open them up, um, have uh, their little holes and hooks, and you just screw them into the back of your, of your frame and with these little screws. And that's how that then has a hook that you can put your wire on. They also have these hangers, these little, which are screws that go directly in and have a little round on the end. Uh, those hang out farther, but still they, they work really well and they're really strong. Um, and that's what the base for the wire. So I'm gonna talk about a different piece. Like for, the, for example, this is a canvas. You know, I painted on the canvas and then the wood, you know, the canvas has a hole in the back. So some people will wire theirs on the inside, which you can also do. Um, it's better to do on the frame, but some people do hang it on here. Still, you wanna go down a third of the way and you could put your screw in and hang. So that's where to put it on the back. 
it's a third of the way down. It's amazing how many people we hang work who do not do this. They hang the wire way up at the top and then it hangs over the top or they put it in the middle and then the painting like yeah. you know, goes to the side. So it's measure it third, third of the way down is the key. Then the what type of wire do you use? That's very important. And I also bought this on YouTube. Uh, I, bought, I mean on YouTube, on, uh, on uh, Amazon, this big thing of, of wire. It's special framing wire, it's braided. And what that means is there's little wires that are braided and wrapped around that makes it a lot stronger. Uh, if you use like a plain copper wire or a plain metal wire, it has a much bigger chance of breaking, especially when you're wrapping it around. So you wanna have the wire go, you know, probably two or three inches beyond what you need on each side and then cut it and then you wrap it around the wire. Um, professionally, and some, play, I read that from yours, Hedda, before, they'll say put a piece of tape on the back so that you don't poke your finger or, or get it stuck or anything, which is a great idea. I didn't do that here, but I'm gonna advise people to do that, especially for us hanging, so we don't have to you know, get ourselves caught up. So you can put a little piece of masking tape or blue painter's tape or anything like that to, to make that. Um, you should also put a label on the back of your artwork. If you have a label that says who you are and what it is, or you could just put a piece of tape and write your name and what, what the piece is. Because when we hang shows, sometimes we get 40, 45 art pieces. And if I don't have my list of whose piece is what, it's a lot easier when you know and it's on the back. Um, what I did, this is, I bought this at Staples. These are Avery uh, labels. And I just bought them and they have a little thing online. It's free. You can put a picture of your art and put your name. You know, this is, it, they have a free template online. And then you really? just print it on your own printer. That's what I do with mine. So. Oh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on art labels, that's another option. And what is it called, the art label? This is called the Avery. They Avery. just have their mailing labels. Mailing labels, yeah. But they have free. They have a free uh, template online, and then you could put pictures. You can put. So I just did. I mean, I'll show you these. You can. Um, I just put my, you know, my name yeah, and all my great. contact, and just put one of my pieces of artwork and you just on. Peel it off. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then you just peel it and stick it on. This one's coming off because it's been on a while, but. Um, you know, you stick it on, then you know whose artwork it is. Um, so that's, you know, that's the basic way of how to prepare an artwork in terms of framing. Uh, the other thing about this wire, you can buy this wire online, like on Amazon, you know, the braided wire. Um, you could also buy it at Home Depot. Home Depot has it. Sometimes things are cheaper at Home Depot because it's not art and stuff, you know, it's like, so there's an, you know, that's another option. But all this stuff, I mean, I bought all of this for, I think it was $20. So um, the other thing, if anyone gets stuck, if anyone has a piece of artwork and it's framed and it's not wired and the show is, the drop off is tomorrow, email or call me before so I know. Because what happens now is when I go to hang, well, when whoever goes to hang the show, um, if it's not wired, we can't hang it. So we have to bring it home. And then like with the Rialto, we couldn't get in there. So I had to bring it home, rewire it, then make an arrangement for another day to go back and have them and let me in. that should not be on the perp. That should not be Yeah, you shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. You, should, you should just say sorry. <laughs> well, that's true. And most shows, by the way, from what I understand, most shows, if they're not properly framed and properly wired, they don't, they don't go up. They don't go up. Right. No. We're just very helpful to our members. So I, my thing to our membership, if you have an issue and you haven't wired it, let me know in advance. I know how to do this. I do it and it, I can take two minutes and I can make sure yours is wired before it gets hung. Because it's hard when you pick up and you're like, what, there's no hang, there's no wire. So, um, and it's some of our best artists well, do it. So. We don't want you to get burned out, you know? Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's right. But no, I don't mind doing that because it's easy. It's real fast, you know? But it's easier to do it in advance than to, you know, to be going to hang it and it doesn't hang. And, and it's, you know, it's really hard. Um, the other thing about preparing your show, your art for, for a show, is how do you wrap it? So everybody has their own way of, of wrapping it. It's best to, however you wrap it, put your name on the wrapping. You're great with this. Um, <laughs> you're fantastic. 
I really want the wrapping there. Exactly. I'm just sitting there. I want the wrapping there. Yeah. So, so if you if you have like there are they sell all different ways to put. You could put it in bubble wrap. You could put it in special um, mailing envelopes. There are there's all different ways you can wrap it, but put your name on it. If you don't. We do it, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather you put your name on it. And that way, the other thing is, it won't be lost because what we do is after we hang a show, we put all the wrapping in one particular place and we either take it with us or we put it in a safe place at the show. And at the end, we put the artwork right back in what, you know, what people gave it to us. We've seen things come with no hang, no wrapping at all. We've had people drop off artwork with nothing. I've had paper, I've had bags, I've had people oh. drop it in those shopping bags. You get, you know, people oh. have, it's, it's everything. So I encourage everybody to wrap your stuff uh, properly to protect your artwork too, um, as well as, you know, so we know where to, how to get it back in the right way. So you can stop.